Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fauzi Zainal, shared a meeting with the Shura Chairman Ali Al Saleh and the National Medical Team, headed by the President of the Supreme Council for Health and the President of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, along with members of medical team and various officials. The Speaker praised the royal directives and the keen follow-up of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and Crown Prince in protecting the country and the citizens and maintaining the health and safety safety of all in light of the process of comprehensive development. She affirmed the ongoing cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities and expressed representative council's confidence in the national task force. For his part, the Shura chairman expressed his appreciation for the efforts of the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the task force under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Premier. He also expressed pride in the efforts of the national medical team in safeguarding the safety and health of the citizens and residents. The Shura Council Chairman noted that all efforts made by frontline workers in cooperation with the various concerned authorities require its support through full commitment by all to precautionary measures and procedures. As Saleh expressed his appreciation regarding the continuation of the national vaccination campaign and providing vaccination for all citizens and residents, wishing the Kingdom success in overcoming this pandemic under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah noted the unlimited support of His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of all the national efforts of Team Bahrain to protect the safety and health of citizens and residents. He highlighted the success of the national team in expanding the scope of national tests in accordance with the guidelines and standards approved by the World Health Organization, noting the developments and success of the national vaccination campaign. He also commended the initiatives of the legislative authority to hold this meeting to notify the representatives and Shura councils on the latest development and decisions taken to deal with the virus in the kingdom and limit its spread, hailing the keenness of the members of both councils to communicate with the national task force. A telephone call was held today between Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani and his Egyptian counterpart Samah Shukri within the framework of continuous coordination between the two brotherly countries. During the call, the two sides discussed developments in the situation in the Palestinian territories and the efforts exerted to stop the escalation and reach a comprehensive ceasefire between the Palestinians and the Israelis in the Gaza Strip. Dr. Zayani affirmed Bahrain's support for the Egyptian initiative to secure a truce between the Palestinian and Israeli sides and to reach an immediate ceasefire. He stressed the importance of the international community's role in stopping escalation and protecting innocent civilians, expressing his wishes for the success of the efforts made by Egypt in this regard. For his part, the Egyptian foreign minister stressed the importance of promoting coordination and continuing efforts to reach a ceasefire in the confrontations in Gaza, in addition to working to resume peace efforts in order to ensure the legitimate rights of the brotherly Palestinian people. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Board of Directors Chairman of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, BTEA, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, inaugurated the Grand Swiss Bell Hotel Waterfront Sif Hotel, the latest of the Swiss Bell Hotel International's hotels in the kingdom, in the presence of a number of ministry senior officials and the hotel's management. On the occasion, the minister said that the tourism sector enjoys the greatest interest of the government of Bahrain and tops its priorities, being among the fast-growing economic sectors. He added that the opening of the five-star Grand Swiss Bell Hotel Waterfront Sif Hotel in Bahrain indicates that the tourism sector in Bahrain is progressing, which will create more competitiveness that enhances the quality of hotel services, increases investments and attracts more tourists. As Ziyani asserted that the BTEA is interested in turning Bahrain into a distinguished regional and international tourism destination to increase the tourism sector's contributions to the country's GDP. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the Board Chairman of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Zayed Zayani, participated as a keynote speaker in a conference organized by Northeastern University in the USA. The event discussed the factors behind the decline of international tourism under the pandemic. It was joined by the Tourism Minister of Indonesia along with other officials. The minister said that the government has taken all necessary precautions to screen visitors and tourists and has increased cooperation with Gulf countries to approve vaccine certificates. He concluded by affirming the role of the authority in monitoring all touristic establishments. 
The GCC states ambassadors held their regular meeting in Geneva, shared by the permanent representative of Bahrain and chair of the current session of the Cooperation Council, Dr. Ambassador Youssef Abdel Karim Abouchiri, at the headquarters of the permanent observer mission of the Cooperation Council in Geneva. The ambassadors discussed a number of issues related to coordinating joint Gulf action and promoting its collective presence within the work of various international organizations in Geneva. They focused in particular on coordination of stances in the context of the participation of GCC states and the work of the World Health Organization at its 47th session, which is expected to start next week, in addition to arranging and preparing for the many diplomatic entitlements in the coming period. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 861,398 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 657,975 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 17,609 with 1,534 recoveries and 2,354 registered new cases, the highest number of infections recorded so far. 855 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,485 are contacts of active cases and 14 are travel-related. The Ministry also announced five deaths from COVID-19 and expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.